Oh my goodness, this is actually part three of the collab that I have been doing with Natalie the Beauty Diva and Julia's Bee Beauty. And I'm not even going to really mention Natalie and Julia because I've done that in the first two parts of these of this series. But this is a series that Nat does and Natalie does and it is the best of. And so today it's going to be the best of drugstore. So I'm going to put a different spin on it in the sense that uh, I'm going to be, it's the best of the drugstore that I've used, okay, and the things that I've used over and over again. And I'm sometimes a little worried that what I'm using may not be available for, um, you know, to buy. Like, for example, my favorite blush, which I'll talk about in a moment. So, anyways, this is part three, best of a drugstore. I hope you stay tuned. If you're coming over from Natalie's channel, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. And if you're coming over from Julia B's channel, Julia B's Beauty, please consider subscribing as well. Stay tuned, and I will share with you my drugstore favorites. So first up all, if you are new to my channel, you might be wondering why my hair looks different this week than it did last week if you watch the second and the first two videos in this series. I also review wigs and I, um, I love wearing wigs. I love the different styling options that wigs provide. And I'm actually filming a video today which is going to be my top three or four wigs that have withstood the time they've stood up over years and this is one of them so anyways this is uh, for those of you that are into alternate hair whether you have thinning hair or it doesn't matter you just want to have different looks this is John Minot's Kristen and I think this is probably year three for this particular wig and I love it so anyways I'm not here to talk about wigs but if you're curious make sure you subscribe because I do talk about wigs. Anyways, thank you. Thank you so much. And I just want a big, huge shout out to both Natalie and Julia. You guys have been amazing, amazing partners to do this with. And I'm so thrilled that you guys have included me. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think it's been an awesome collab. Natalie and I are going to be doing another collab, which we've done in previous years. And it's in a Retin-A update. My fifth year, I think, and her 20th we're going to be doing that video but we're all well if I'm in a different position it's because the camera died and I had to go change the batteries but anyway so Natalie and I are going to do a um, a true crime makeup thing right because we're both into true crime podcasts and we're we've agreed that we're going to do a uh, a sort of a true crime collab we're going to talk about some cases and she'll be doing her makeup it'll be fun it'll be super fun I'm so looking forward to it so anyways drugstore oh my gosh I don't have a lot of drugstore foundations. I have had a lot of drugstore foundations in the past. I've given them away. I find that I'm very, my skin is very, very fussy. And the two drugstore foundations that I have stuck with over the course of time is my Boots Number no. 7, which I've talked about quite a bit. And I talked about it in a previous video as well. And kick-ass but I'm going to talk about kick-ass right now because I I wear kick-ass a lot and I have it in number four and I have it in the shade number five so sometimes I mix them and while I'm talking about mixing foundation sometimes you put a foundation on and it's too yellow or it's too cool or it's too whatever I love using the LA girl and this is their foundation mixing pigment cheap i mean so affordable this has saved me over the course of time when i've tried a foundation that i really like my like high-end ysl right the colors off for me i have to cool it down so i i put one of these mixing pigments in there and i get the perfect shade and i do that with a lot of different foundations that i might buy that are the wrong shade but the kick-ass which is i buy it in walgreens and you get it online but i buy it in walgreens and um it's on the higher end, in my opinion. If you, I buy it in Walgreens because they have these coupon sales and also sometimes you buy two for full price, you get one free or half off or buy one full price, half off. There's always some sort of thing. So if you are a Walgreens member and I, and I 
I am. You know, CVS, they all have their own little membership thingy, and they used to give you those little cards you had to carry around. Now you just plug in your phone number to pull it up. But I buy these when they're on sale, so as well as my Boots number 7. But the Kick-Ass um, has been the closest, and I'm not calling it a dupe. I'm not. I'm not calling it a dupe. But has been the closest to the coverage that I get with my Estee Lauder. My Boots number 7, my Lift and Luminate, I love, but it's a much lighter coverage. So it's got SPF, but if you're looking for a, say, a heavier coverage, if you have problem areas like me, my nose, I have veins all over my face, my naked skin looks awful, which is probably why I don't like to do get ready's with me, Boots will give me a nice cover. It's a buildable cover. So, not Boots, I'm sorry, Kick-Ass. It reminds me very much of my Estee Lauder as far as the coverage is concerned. So that that has been, if I have to pick one or the other, that Kick-Ass is number one on the drugstore from what I've used. And I haven't used a whole lot of different mixing pigments, but the LA Girl Pro Color, I, I believe this is Molly and Fab and Glam had talked about this quite a while ago. I love it. I use it all the time. So today on my face, everything is, is drugstore. And I'm not going to like really go into detail on some of the stuff I use all the time. But after I do my skincare and I wash and I'm ready to do this, after I put my sunblock on for the day, then I end up using the e.l.f. Putty Primer. This has been my favorite, favorite primer for I think about two years now. And I have no desire to try anything else. It's affordable. It is, and it works really good on me. And it's a putty primer, so you don't put it on and smush it in your face. You put it on like you would putty, and you pat it into your face type of thing. I really like that. And then for my color correction, I have a couple of different ones, but for my color corrections concealer, I also use this from e.l.f. I think it is so affordable. You can see it's well used, especially the green. Whoops. Especially the green. Um, I use that a lot. I will cover up my, my red veins with it after I put the primer on. I put this on. I let it dry in, sink in. And maybe at that point in time, I'm doing eyeshadows or, or whatever I'm doing. But whatever I do next is typically my eyes. I usually do my eyes completely before I do any foundation. I'm just the opposite of probably everyone else. I do my mascara first. Uh, and this is the essence. This is the one that I have been using for quite a while, drugstore. There is an other essence, I'm gonna give it a try. It's a volume one that was recommended and I'm gonna give that one a try, but this is the one that I've been using currently. I love it, it works well with my lashes. I do normally do two coats on my lashes. I don't wear any false lashes, although I have several here. I just haven't played with them, put them on, tried them, or anything of that nature yet. So yes, that's that's what I really like. When I'm done that, I normally go into my eyes, my eyelids. I don't, I don't prime my eyelids. I have very crepey eyelids. Uh, I have very wrinkly, droopy eyelids. I'm going to be 68 in, on Valentine's Day, actually. It's my birthday. So I'm going to be 68, and I just I don't have the best eyelids, and um, I don't have the best skin, but I try really hard to take care of it. So I'm also not a fan, I'm sorry, of drugstore uh, shadows. I have not yet found a drugstore shadow for me that doesn't have a ton of fallout. And that's probably another reason why I never put my foundation on first because I'm always having to wash off and brush off and, and do whatever. So no matter what shadow I use, I tap it. And even some of the high ends as well, the fallout is, is, um, is incredible. Um, but I use Essence Daily Dose of Love. And this would be drugstore. Almost can get a full look out of this. And when I say almost, I do mean almost. It's not quite there for me. I would need, I need a little bit of help. This, this you, this is a very light payoff, a very light pigment on me. It, it doesn't, it, you can build it. You, you know what I mean? So like, it's just a very, very light pigment. If you want to have something that gives you more an immediate payoff, this might not be it. The colors are very light. They're very muted. I really like them. Now, I'm not too sure if Morphe is considered drugstore but I can get a full look out of this Morphe palette. And this is the one I got on the drugstore side at Ulta in its Vintage Rose. I think I've mentioned this one before. I really do like it a lot. I, I, I do, I think it's a really nice drugstore eyeshadow. When I'm done that, if I, I start to play with my eyes and all that, I usually end up using an eyeliner. 
and I, I've mentioned my high-end eyeliners, but my eyeliners of choice, the ones that I really like from the drugstore, is going to be the NYX, the NYX. I use their Glide-On sticks, their eyeliner sticks. They're soft. They just, they're really, really nice. I like them a lot. I've gone through them a lot. You do have to sharpen them with a little sharpener. Uh, and you have to be careful because if the tip breaks off, then you have a little bit of a ragged edge there and you don't want to be poking your eye. So whenever you have to sharpen a pencil, you do need to be aware of that. Because it's soft, it does wear off quickly. I have a little sharpener. If I travel, I have a little pencil sharpener with me. And uh, I'm just aware of that. So for drugstore, it would be the NYX. And then my second choice would be my Scandalize, which I really like. But this is the felt liner, the felt liner that I use, and it's black. So I use that one a lot. And then I would have to say, hands down, and I don't know, you know, with Avon, you have to buy from a catalog, but I love the Avon Glimmer Sticks. I use the Glimmer Sticks for my eyebrows at times. Right now I'm out of it. I use the Glimmer Sticks for eye eyeliner, and I use the Glimmer Sticks for lip liner. I don't always use a lip liner. Many times I just contour my lips with whatever shadow I'm using, but I, I do like the Avon Glimmer Sticks the best. And I usually buy them from Julie Smith, and she's a YouTuber. I'll link her below. Avon used to be someone came to the door, um, and I used to be able to order off a catalog. I haven't had an Avon lady that did that in, I don't know, maybe eight years, nine years. So I think everything is being, and then when they do, they ship it to you anyway. So might as well just order it from the catalog. So Avon, love those glimmer sticks. Elf liner, I'm sorry, Elf brow. I've mentioned this before. This is their instant lift brow pencil works really well on my brows. I use the color taupe. This particular brown is a little bit dark. I have a whole stack of empties, so that, that the one that I've been using, the e.l.f. is in my empties. I really like it a lot. And I have an Ulta, Ulta Beauty brow hi highlighter that I just, and this is, needs to be sharpened, and I just go under my brows just to give it a little bit of a lift. I don't know if it really gives it that lift look, but that's what I do. <laughs> So I use I use some really nice brushes for my eye I um for my eye shadows application but I do have some from Elf that I have used they're in the bathroom I didn't bring them all in but I use a lot of Elf brushes I love this is the one I use for the for my my brush my blush I love this and this is the one if I'm going to be buffing in my foundation and my contour and my blush after I've done it this is what I use I really it's a blurring brush from elf it's very dense I really like it you can't beat the price on the elf brushes I think they're amazingly affordable I really I really do like them so that brings me to my I've got my eyes done I've brushed all of it off then I take and I put my foundation on by that time my my putty primer has sunk in my color corrector has sunk in and I I just get ready for my foundation I use my age rewind if I have to lighten anything up in my eyes but I put my foundation on and I do that in layers foundation I do a little setting spray blush contour contour has been difficult for me I use two I have a cream contour that I really like this is the NYX wonder stick it's got the contour on one side you can see it's very well loved and I think this is the universal one shade and then I have and not so much on the highlighter because I'm a I don't I don't like to highlight a whole lot because I don't want to be like ooh, you know like gloves of highlight all over the place uh, and then I have an Essence contouring little palette here that I that I use a lot as well. I've also used the contour, the darker part for eyebrows if I've needed it as well. So those are the two that I I really use. And then I I just love my Avon. I don't think they make this anymore. I have not been able to see it, but this is Mad About Mauve. I love this. This is the perfect brush blush for me. I love it and mad about mauve you know I just of course I can't see what I'm doing I'm probably gonna be looking a little bit too much but this is my favorite blush Avon I last time I ordered this 
I don't know, it was a couple of years ago, and I think I ordered like three of them. I'm on my last one. The second one that I like, and I'm not too sure if ColourPop is actually qualifies as drugstore, but is the ColourPop Vintage um, Vogue. I really like the ColourPop. I know there's a ton of different blushes at the drugstore, and people talk about them. I just haven't really, I haven't done, I haven't really looked into them. Lips Drugstore has been Chick Rose Maybelline. And again, I normally contour my lips with a little bit of shadow. And then sometimes if I need to, I put a little bit more of a liner on if I want that more bolder look. But I will wear this for drugstore. However, my favorite lipstick still is the color of the world. I love the formula. I love the colors. They're so pretty. It's just that I don't think that qualifies as drugstore. But I love the color of the world lipstick. So this would be my Romantic Rose. I have another one in Mauve. Um, I have a few that I really like. Spice. But this is the one I wear the most. And if I'm going to go to drugstore gloss the one that i have really liked all along is going to be the hard candy and this is the plumping serum volumizing lip gloss i've had this for a long time i've got a couple of different shades in it currently what i'm wearing day to day is my sephora lip gloss but this for drugstore is really good i really like it and then i have to mention my nyx i know i've mentioned these before these are sort of the eye crayons and I have strawberry milk and I have cottage cheese. Strawberry milk is a little bit of a pink color. Cottage cheese is white. I usually put that on my lids. I really like it. It just can give you a pop of color. And sometimes that pop of color or that pop of lift is what I really need in my eyes. I try not to go too heavy because of the crepiness of my lids. But I just really want that pop of color in my in my lids. So... I think it's I think it's really pretty so I think sometimes I hate to even mention because I'm not too sure if you can even get this but this is a L'Oreal and this is one of their little shadows I think it's number 888 and it might be like iced latte or iced something rather it's got the little almost gone I really like it it just it just gives me a little bit, it, not really a pinkish look at all, but just a little bit of, again, a lift if I want that lift in a powder or if I need to have a little bit more of a, a glow or something of that nature and I don't want to carry the crayon. So this I've had for a number of years. I don't know that they even have it still. I don't. Um, that's the hard thing. But So that's my drugstore. Th those are, so for me, the best of drugstore that I've been using. And again, I'm not... Um, I don't use a whole lot. I don't play around with foundations that much. I, I'm more of a tried and true. If I find something I like, I'm going to I'm going to use it over and over again. So, uh, you know, and then I go, oh, well, if I was going to go away, right, and I had very limited space, which would I bring? That's usually what tells the story for me which would I bring so sometimes I'll go into my makeup bag and I'll see what I have in there because that is like okay this is stuff I wanted to bring so anyways I hope you found this interesting and again if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing I talk about makeup I talk about skincare I'm going to be 68 in February I also share lifestyle I am a, a, a vlogger by nature I love to record things that happen in my life although they are pretty boring at times so when I have something to share I do vlogs I do wig reviews um, what else I'm just pretty well you know a little bit of this a little bit of that and I'm a uh, true crime addict <laughs> didn't sound good but anyways, please consider subscribing. I would truly appreciate it. Leave me a comment below. I love engaging with you on my videos. And if you haven't been over to Natalie's video or Julia's video, be sure to link them below so you can go check them out. Thank you all so much. Bye-bye.